did not see that asteroid there. Or not asteroid. Um, Talati, whatever the hell it is. Heron or something? Oh, Pelican. Sorry, dude. He's like going, uh, yeah, that didn't hurt. <laughs>Welcome back everybody to X4 Foundations. I'm an old guy gaming and we are picking up pretty much right where we left off. Uh, we are in uh, Holy Vision and there are actually two gates in Holy Vision. There's this one here and this one here. And so let's go through this one first and then after we get all that uncovered we'll come back and go through this one. Uh, so it's only been a few minutes like I said since I left in last said I did send a couple of my uh, smaller miners down into that ore belt um, sector to get started there and I'll, I'll set up a trader over there later too uh, but I don't want to get too caught up in that sort of stuff right now I want to stay on task here with um, you know uncovering these the rest of these sectors here in our game so we got a little highway here we'll go through it and then see what happens on the other side there's a data vault, but I'm just going to actually not worry about that one for now. Well, actually, yeah, maybe we'll do it since we just left the highway. All right, let's head on through and see what's on the other side. We'll break on through to the other side. Oh, Entering oh system. crap. Logic. Let's go. Time to go. Faulty logic. Look at look at those cap ships on my uh, radar there. Woo. Oh, this is a Xenon sector. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Got a highway, a station, and a thingy there. I'll pause the game for just a second. Doesn't have any information at all. There we go. After the initial Xenon assault on Emperor Mines, and with as many civilians rescued as possible. Omakarsat turned their attention to protecting other core Paranid systems from the Xenon invasion. Calling in reinforcements from Paranid Prime, Omakarsat, however you spell that or pronounce that, headed straight for the Xenon Sector 101, predicting that the Xenon had launched everything they had at Emperor Mines. The Xenon were quick to follow the fleet back to the jump gate, and Omakarsat immediately ordered the destruction of the jump gate on the other side. The Paranid treat, uh, fleet were trapped in Xenon territory, presumably destroyed. The Paranet space was safe. Sucks to be them. Uh, okay. Hydrogen or raw scrap. Okay, let's go ahead and head on through the gate here. Faulty logic. Seven. Okay, so this is also Xenon. Let's get past the nasties. And then we'll do a quick long range. Xenon station there. Unknown station, unknown station. over this direction and do a long range just in case there's something we might have missed. Oh, my filthy yowzers! <laughs> oh, there's a gate. <laughs> it's 
like, wow, crap. We're good. We got this. Oh, more mines. Yikes. Entering system. Atya's misfortune. Atya's misfortune. I don't remember a system called that. But it is also a Xenon system. Unknown station. And I hope we don't run into a mine. That would not be good. Oh, there's an inactive jump gate down there. Here, well, let's uh let's do our usual lore here. Though stories of what happened in Atia's misfortune are yet to be confirmed, with no trace of the Terran colonization attempt left by the Xenon, it is said that the Terran's escape from the system was made possible by two highly skilled fighter pilots, Dare, Dare Yavus, Yav, yeah, Dara and Atia. <laughs> when Atia was killed as the two pilots, the last to leave the system, fled, Daria her twin fell into a deep state of bitterness and depression, disappearing from society and traveling jump gate network as it was before the shutdown, never to be seen again. That's kind of a sad story. Um, ooh, there's a decent amount of NVIDIA in here. Not something you'd, we'd want to send miners in unless we had a big fleet to protect them, though. Okay, let's do... see, where are we at? Let's go just a little bit further and then we'll do another long range. See a Xenon station down that way. Lots of things pinging. Okay, let's go this direction. Visibly spotting the gate this way, but that doesn't mean it's not there. Okay, let's go this way. Oh, is there more Xenon stations? Something out here. Those are like those things that we saw in Sanctuary of Darkness. range here. Whoops. Waited a little too long on that one. Alright, well, if there's another sector somewhere up there, I don't know how you get to it. weird formations up here. There's another gate over there. Oh, I think that's... I think that's an inactive gate, though, right? 
Oh, uh, yeah, it is. It's an inactive gate. Okay. <laughs> Entering system, faulty logic. All right, we got to be careful of landmines coming back through here. That's a station. Um, I think we already did a squirt down here. Let's go up this way. But I'm going to go kind of up above the ecliptic a little bit because of landmines. Actually, you know what we can do, too, is this. Hmm. That's not showing the mines. Usually it does. Are they like stealth mines? Okay, well, let's go up high. Oh, <laughs> there's all kinds of mines. Wonder why they're not showing up on the scanner. We're just above them, is all. Okay, I don't think there's going to be any uh, gates up here. Things pinging, but who knows what those are. All right, well, let's head on back out of here. But once again, we're going to go kind of high. Yeah, look at those mines in my radar. Jeez, that's a lot of mines. Oh, we're like right in them, too. Okay, let's go higher. <laughs> That's high enough. I mean, we're going so fast, we'd, we'd have to damn near run right into him to, for it to be a problem. But, I mean, it's certainly possible that we could run right into him. We don't want that to happen. tricky. Let's get over here. Whoa! Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Shit. And there's a mine. Go, go, go. Get out of here. Phew. Okay, that was close. Entering faulty logic. One. Um, let's look around here again for a bit. That's a station. I'm sure I did a, a long range scan right when we came through that gate. So let's kind of go up this direction and then we'll scan up there and see if anything happens. Nah, I don't want to use the highway. There's a ship mining off that direction. Must be a Xenon miner, I would think. I don't know, though. Maybe it's a brave or very stupid NPC miner. A couple more stations. Uh-oh. Asteroid field here. I need 
to evade these guys. Let's go over here and do one more scan. Well, it's probably not right here, but the ping is. Okay, well, I think, um... That's probably it for so those two Xenon sectors. So let's start working our way eastward now. I don't know if there's anything further south or not. Uh, we'll take a look in the other Paranid sectors once we get out of here. I missed it. <laughs> I'll go this way. Entering system, holy vision. Seems like the Paranid do a lot better job of keeping the Xenon out than the Split and the Argon have. Or that could be just pure RNG for my particular seed, I don't know. Or game save. Alright, let's bring up the map. Alright, we've got this other jump gate here. And... I mean, we could do a, a scan down here to see if there's something too. But let's go... Now, we know this one's here, so let's do this one next. Entering system. Cardinals redress. Okay. This seems like a friendly system. <clears throat> Cardinals redress. These are all stations. Let's grab our third scout them start exploring. This system used to be the capital of the second duchy of the Paranid. When the Paranid set out for distant space, the high priest who stayed behind nominated a new cardinal for spiritual guidance. When the gates shut down, it was that cardinal whom the isolated Paranid population turned towards. He led them well, and the resident Paranids would see the system be reconnected to the greater Paranid realm. However, tensions arose when the system's parented were confronted by the fervent Holy Order, who would not tolerate another religious authority who did not follow their pontifex's teachings. The cardinal did something almost unthinkable when he converted and stepped down from his leadership duties. In doing so, he avoided otherwise certain conflict and saved countless lives. Good for him. This decision did not go over well with the God Realm, who, upon learning of his betrayal, set a considerable bounty on his head. Yeah, okay. Um, so these are all stations here. Let's go down south and do a, a scan down there. It's kind of a neat looking system. Purple. Purple nebulas. Oh, I see a gate. Data Vault 2.
Oh, that's an inactive gate. Shoot. Okay. Let's go through it anyways. Why? Because we can. There we go. More stations that way. And stations that way. There's an unknown object right there. Okay, let's go check that out. That is indeed a gate. System. Lasting Vengeance. Lasting Vengeance. Wow, look at that planet down there. That is cool looking. Let's get away from these enemies and we'll do a long range. Stations. There's probably a cock hive in here. I love the view, though, of the planet here. Very cool. Data vault up there. Yep. Oh, yeah, there it is. Look at that. Big old cock hive over there. Once we get our our um, <clears throat> battleship, we'll start taking those things out too when we come across them. Um, all right, go here. Nat beacon. We'll have to have a, an episode or three where we just go around and do the data vaults and uncover the entire timeline. That would actually be a good thing to do on a live stream. There's something wrecked up there. Yeah, this view of this ocean planet is awesome. Well, I don't know if I'd call it an ocean planet, but very cool. A planet with a big ocean. Oh my goodness, what is all of this? Just a bunch of stations right next to each other in a cluster. That's a little curious. Let's just go take a quick gander at what's going on here. Might not mean anything, but... Oh, no, that's the... Never mind. <laughs> that's a cock cluster. Okay, never mind. We won't be going that way. Something up here keeps blinking in and out in and out of render distance, but it's probably just a wreck, I'm guessing. Let's go look at it real quick. Is that like an exploded jump gate or something? Whatever it is, it's huge. We're gonna need to build a couple more scouts. In fact, here, let's just pause the game for a second. Go up to uh, the Alliance dock. 
Let's buy all ships. Let's buy two more for now. So we want Pegasus Vanguard. We want High Preset OG. This is my personal ship. It's decked out a little bit more. Um, yeah, this should be right. Add to shopping list. Give me two of these. And confirm order. Okay. All right. I think we're done in this system. What a cool place to build a space station, though. Maybe we'll find a system that's like this. However, I'm I'm almost certainly planning on, uh, on building in Napoleos's fortune. If put it this way, I'm going to put my trading station there, if nothing else, and I'll probably put a defense tower there too to protect it. And we might even build our own complex there at some point. I just like its location and it has a couple of gates right next to each other. Actually three gates right next to each other. It's not owned by anybody so we can we can claim it for ourselves without you know any issues in that regard. I want to say that I wonder if the nebula over there is dangerous. Did we read the thingy for this place? No, I don't think we did. Once situa uh, situated on the uncharted outskirts of the new duchy sectors, Lasting Vengeance became known as a safe haven for smugglers, marauders, and other entrepreneurial types who wished to do business in parented and split territory. Behind the various pirate leaders was a guiding hand, the self-proclaimed Pirate Duke, who faced with the sudden collapse of all outside communication, harnessed the indomitable spirit of his followers and led them towards colonization. As the years passed by after the shutdown, the once warlike buccaneers became content with their new purpose while lasting vengeance similarly, uh, similarly, similarly flourished in the era of relative peace and prosperity. If you remember when the dreaded armaments of Duke's Haven and its fleet fell silent for the last time. What happened to the pirate operation in the years that followed remains unknown. It is said that when the Holy Order prospectors traverse the sector's gate on the day of its realignment, desperate for new resources for their starving empire, all they encountered was a sea of ruin. Okay, I noticed that there was a beacon flashing over here, which means, probably means, that there's a safe path through that nebula. So let's go to that beacon and see if we can actually get over there because I'm kind of curious as to what that is. It's a big wreck of something. It's a huge wreck. It's either like a, a really large complex or it's... I don't... Well, I don't know. I'm not sure what it is. It's a lot bigger than... your normal station or ship, that's for sure. Where'd that beacon go? Oh, it's behind us now. Here, let's look at the map for a second. An ice container? Does it say anything about this being hazardous? Usually when you fly into a hazardous system, your computer lady says something to you, so maybe it's not. That might just be his probe for... Mining ice. See, that guy just flew through there. Okay, we're, we can probably go through here without any issues. <laughs> Famous last words. This might just be a normal gas nebula. I see another beacon off that way, though. Ooh, derelict station with lightning around it. Hmm. Derelict station. 
This once elegant, uh, the once elegant arcs and tower inspires this station wreckage portray it as the site of a pre-shutdown faction headquarters, which over decades seems to have to succumb to the erratic discharges of ill-maintained experimental weapons technology and the relentless efforts of the local scavenger fleet. Hmm. Well, if there are scavengers hanging out there, you gotta figure there's probably nothing left. I'm not so sure about that lightning. It might not be good for our health. Actually, what am I doing? Let's just do this. Um, can we target it? Oh, no, we can't. I was going to say we could target it and then look at it with the external camera, but I don't think you can do that if you can't target it. Well, let's, let's try it, though. Oh, we can. Okay, never mind. Don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know. That just seems like um, it's a really big structure compared to the you know your normal station that's as far in as I can zoom Ooh, that doesn't sound good I wonder if there's something useful over here or maybe it's part of a, a quest or something a mission I don't know definitely out of the ordinary Okay, well. well. Let's keep on keeping on. What is an apotheosis? Let's go check that out. Is that a station or a ship? What if that's like a like a Paranid temple or something? Hmm. Does it say anything in the in here? Though the Holy Order of the Pontifex does not yet have an officially recognized capital, it was from Pontifex's claim that the Pontifex Maximus Hereticus, name not supported by the Holy Order, was hatched and so has been claimed as the Order's capital once the Paranid Civil War has been concluded. A system only discovered in the surge of sporadic jump gate activity before the jump gate shutdown, Pontifex's claim only <coughs> excuse me, only has Paranid colonies on parts of the single planet in the system. The word has it that the Order is attempting to colonize it further. Okay. I have to I have to think that that's probably maybe like their temple or something. I don't know. Doesn't give me any information about it. Um, well, actually, hold on. If we do a shift I. Yeah, here we go. This vast and ornate cathedral constitutes a a centerpiece of Paranid tradition, a blazing symbol of its architect's imperishable past and future. Whatever its elaborate architecture may conceal, no truly devout Paranid would dare spill another's blood in its consecrated aura of sanctity. Alright, that's kind of cool. Um, Alright, so let's see here. We are here. Let's do a long range. I've already had my dudes down here. 
um, exploring, but apparently they missed Demeter, Sentinel. They missed uh, some stuff here, so let's go over there real quick. Doesn't look like there's anything else down here. So let's head on over to this accelerator. I totally did not see that asteroid there. Or not asteroid. Um, Talati, whatever the hell it is. Heron or something? Oh, Pelican. Sorry, dude. He's like going, uh, yeah, that didn't hurt. <laughs> Goodness. Okay, let's go. Entering system, IS missed. Wait a second, hold on a second. Entering system, Pontifex's claim. There's more stuff over there. Way over there. Oh, okay. Never mind. It's that stuff. This gate, these gates are like real close to the center of the sector. I was thinking there's more stuff over there we didn't discover, but that's not the case. Entering IS Mists 11. Oh, okay, so we've already been through that gate down here to Sacred Relic and uncovered that system. We know what all these are because we s spent a god-awful amount of money to, to these guys to uh, unlock their, their factories. So that's why I have all those. I already know what all those are. Um... I don't know if I need to send a scout down here to uncover them anyways. I, I don't know. Let's just, uh, let's just do it anyway. Uh, rename. Scout 5. Scout 5? No. Scout 5. Get out of there, stupid tooltip. If you guys know if this is not necessary for me to send them down to actually explore these. In other words, I know that there's a station there, but I don't know, or do I know what's in it? Yeah, I still, even though I know what it is, it doesn't tell me if any information about it. Like these I, that are uncovered, I have information. So that that answers my question. The answer is yes. I still need to have dudes come down here and do this. Oh, uh, that's a lot of text there. If you guys are interested, pause the screen, read through that. I'm going to just speed read it really quick. Okay. Um. So I guess that this doesn't automatically mean there isn't still possibly a gate a little further down so let's go ahead and go do a scan down this way clunk whoops <laughs> alright well we found a data vault data vault Okay, nothing else really showed up in that scan. Let's kind of move over this way and do another one. It's dark in this system. It's got 100% sunlight. And then Nvidium too. 
All right, well, I'm not seeing anything else, but already one of our traders has come down here, which is great. Entering IS Mists 2. Doesn't look like there's a gate down in Sacred Relic. All right, well, I think that covers the south, or at least the southwest sectors, of course, except for the Earth and the Moon. Speaking of which, are we with 20 with him by now? No, nope, we're still 19. Okay, it's getting close. It's been 19 for a while. Um, So... Let's uh let's actually go here for a minute. We'll pull that money out of the station. So look at that. We're at 199.8 million. We're almost at 200 million, which is the most cash on hand we've had, I think. I don't think we've hit over 200 million yet because I keep spending money. <laughs> um, we got a lot more money to spend. I don't know how much a um, Asgard's going to cost, but it ain't going to be cheap. Um, so... But that is, we are going to buy one as soon as we hit 20 with them. That is my intention anyways. So let's see here. Um, it doesn't look like there's any gates in Unholy Retribution. So I think we've got an accelerator in Hiwa's Twin, and we have another jump gate there. However, I, I know that the split free families are up in the northeast area just because you know i couldn't help but notice it when i was watching some other videos so i think what we're actually going to do is uncover them next because i'd really like to start getting rep going with them and ho hopefully they're there and the xenon haven't overtaken them or anything either um so i think what we'll do in the next episode is we'll shoot for uncovering the northeast and then we'll kind of work our way you know uh, continue to work our way east and then south from there to finish uncovering the rest of the sectors. Uh, but we made pretty good progress. I think over the last two episodes, we uncovered a new territory here. We uncovered a couple of second contact uh, places and then another parented um, sector as well. So not too bad. And with that, I think I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys here. So thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. I'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.